The study was designed uh, after the withdrawal of Vioxx because of cardiovascular toxicity. And the primary intent was to determine whether or not celecoxib, the, other, the last remaining COX-2 inhibitor, had the same cardiovascular risk as rofecoxib or Vioxx. And the primary result was that it actually did not. If anything, it trended toward being safer from a cardiovascular perspective. It was 24,000 patients, uh, you know, patients with osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, uh, and they were followed for uh, about 42 months. So it was a, v a very good long-term trial. It took a long time to complete, but we finally finished. At this meeting, we're presenting some additional analyses. One of the questions that came up was, what the, was the dosing of the comparators, celecoxib, ibuprofen, and naproxen, equivalent in analgesic effect? And the answer is essentially yes. Uh, we're going to show analyses that indicate that they were equal analgesic, so equally efficacious. Because if you give less of one drug, it may have a better uh, safety profile. We also looked at an expanded safety outcome that included cardiovascular, renal, GI, hypertension, all the bad things that can happen when you take an NSAID. And in that case, uh, there was a highly significant lower rate of adverse events with celecoxib and a much higher rate with ibuprofen. Ibuprofen had the worst safety profile of the NSAIDs that we studied. Naproxen was intermediate and celecoxib was the, the, uh, the most safe. And then finally, one of the critical analyses was what happens when you add aspirin to the mix? Many high-risk patients are going to, who have arthritis are going to take an NSAID, but they're also going to take aspirin for cardiovascular prophylaxis. What we saw is that for many of the outcomes, aspirin actually narrowed the safety advantage of celecoxib. That was true for kidney and for heart particularly. It wasn't true for GI. For GI, the enhanced safety was there no matter what else you were taking. But for everything else, uh, celecoxib was still uh, somewhat safer, but those differences were much narrower in patients that take aspirin. Essentially, when you add aspirin to celecoxib, you make it much more like naproxen because it's no longer a selective COX-2 inhibitor. So, a uh, very interesting uh, set of findings uh, that suggest that you lose some of that advantage if you have to take concomitant aspirin. Uh, for many patients, particularly those that are at high GI risk, celecoxib offers a safety advantage without raising the risk of cardiovascular toxicity. Now, please keep in mind that there is no placebo arm. So probably all these drugs are worse than placebo. What we were really studying was if you have to take an NSAID, which one is the safest? And for most of the endpoints, celecoxib was at least as safe and in some cases substantially more safe than comparators. Well, we're going to continue to look very, very uh, carefully. We're doing an analysis now that looks at the dose response for these adverse effects because we used flexible dosing in the trial. And the question is, what happens when you scale up the, uh, the dose? Do you actually see differences in the relative safety? So we've got, when you have 24,000 patients in a long-term trial, there's lots of additional analyses. Now I must say that secondary analyses are always deemed hypothesis generating. That wasn't the primary intent of the trial. And so we are cautious in interpreting uh, these uh, secondary analyses.